The universe is vast and mysterious, and for centuries, we've wondered how it all began. To find answers, humanity built the James Webb Space Telescope, a time machine that lets us see the universe's earliest moments. Webb's giant golden mirror captures ancient light, revealing the cosmic dawn just after the Big Bang. Before Webb, our view of the early universe was blurry, like reading the first page of a book in the dark. Now, Webb's infrared vision pierces cosmic dust, sending back images from billions of years ago. Orbiting far beyond the moon, Webb stays cold and dark, perfect for detecting faint heat from the most distant objects. Since its launch, Webb has rewritten astronomy textbooks, revealing surprises and challenging old ideas. We're living in a golden age of discovery, thanks to this technological marvel. Imagine standing on a shore, each wave bringing stories from afar. Webb is our shore, collecting light from the universe's edge. We sent it a million miles from home to look back 13.5 billion years. What it's finding is more spectacular than we ever imagined. The universe was busy creating wonders much earlier than we thought, and with every new image we get closer to understanding our own origins. One of Webb's most breathtaking discoveries is a faint smudge of light. MOM Z14, the oldest and most distant galaxy ever seen. Its light has traveled over 13.5 billion years, showing us the universe just 280 million years after the Big Bang. Seeing MOM Z14 is like looking at a baby picture of the cosmos. Scientists didn't expect to find such a well-formed galaxy so early. The previous record holder was 20 million years younger. This is a giant leap. Mom Z14's discovery pushes the limits of what we thought possible, suggesting galaxies formed much sooner and faster than predicted. Scientists use redshift to measure distance. Mom Z14's redshift of 1444 is the highest ever. Each new record peels back another layer of cosmic history. Mom Z14 is more than a record. It's a beacon from a mysterious era. It tells us the early universe was already dynamic and creative. This single galaxy opens a new chapter in our study of the cosmos. It whispers secrets about the birth of stars and galaxies, and it hints that even older objects are waiting to be found. Looking closer at MOM Z14, scientists found even more surprises. It's small, 50 times smaller than the Milky Way, but its chemistry is mature. We expected the first galaxies to be mostly hydrogen and helium, but MOM Z14 contains heavier elements like carbon and nitrogen. This means an earlier generation of stars must have already lived and died, enriching the galaxy's gas. The cosmic cycle of star birth and death began incredibly quickly. MOM Z14 is also much brighter than expected, glowing with rapid star formation. This suggests there could be a hundred times more bright galaxies in the early universe than we thought. The cosmic dawn may have been a brilliant explosion of light, not a slow sunrise. MOM Z14 is a cosmic puzzle, small, yet chemically mature. Young, yet home to second-generation stars. Its brightness hints at a more active early universe. This single galaxy is forcing astronomers to rethink how the first structures formed. It's a perfect example of how one discovery can change everything. Science thrives on surprises like this. Webb didn't just find the oldest galaxy, it also witnessed a spectacular event, a massive pileup of galaxies called JWST's Quintet. Five large galaxies are merging just 800 million years after the Big Bang, a rare sight. Multiple galaxy mergers are uncommon, making this discovery a big deal. These galaxies share the same redshift, proving they're physically connected and interacting. Bound by gravity, they swirl in a giant halo of gas, triggering a burst of star formation. The total mass is about 10 billion suns, an enormous amount for such an early time. As they collide, gas compresses, fueling rapid star birth. JWST's quintet might be the missing link in understanding galaxy evolution. Webb has found massive, dead galaxies in the early universe, puzzling scientists. This merger could explain how such giants formed and quickly ran out of fuel. We're witnessing the birth of a galactic giant. The universe built its largest structures in spectacular chaotic events. Webb lets us watch these cosmic construction projects unfold. The discoveries of MOM Z14 and JWST's Quintet are rewriting our understanding of galaxy formation. 
For years, we thought galaxies formed slowly, merging over billions of years. But Webb's findings show the process was faster and more dynamic. Mom Z14's maturity just 280 million years after the Big Bang suggests galaxies started building earlier than we imagined. JWST's quintet reveals that massive mergers could rapidly create giant galaxies. The universe had more than one way to build its largest structures. Some slow, some spectacularly fast. These discoveries force astronomers to rethink their models. The story of slow, steady growth is giving way to one of rapid star birth and chaotic mergers. Webb isn't just giving us new data, it's giving us a new perspective. The early universe was wild, creative, and full of surprises. And our cosmic story is far more exciting than we ever thought. Webb's vision isn't limited to distant galaxies. It can zoom in on our own Milky Way. It recently studied a disk of gas and dust around a giant exoplanet, CT Cha B, 625 light years away. This young gas giant orbits a star just 2 million years old, a planetary system in its infancy. The disk, called a circumplanetary disk, is where moons might be forming right now. Webb's instruments let us study this moon construction yard in detail for the first time. CT Cha B and its disk are a real-time laboratory for planet and moon formation. We're seeing the raw ingredients that built our own solar system billions of years ago. Moons are common in our solar system and may be just as common across the galaxy. By studying CT Cha B's disk, we learn about the conditions needed to form moons. Webb hasn't spotted moons yet, but it's the first step in understanding how new worlds are born. This research links theories of planet formation to real observations. When Webb pointed its MIRI instrument at CT Chabi's disk, it did more than take a picture. It analyzed its chemistry. Webb detected seven different carbon-containing molecules, from simple acetylene to complex benzene. The disk is rich in carbon, a key ingredient for life. Strangely, this chemistry is very different from the water-rich disk around the host star. In just two million years, the material around the planet has become chemically unique. This chemical separation is a puzzle, showing how quickly planetary ingredients can change. Where a planet or moon forms can dramatically affect its composition. This could explain the diversity of worlds in our solar system. Studying these young systems helps us search for life elsewhere. The raw materials for life are present where new worlds are being born. Webb's discoveries, from the most distant galaxy to a nearby moon-forming disk, are all part of a grand cosmic story. By looking back to the cosmic dawn, we learn about the origins of the first structures. By witnessing galactic mergers, we see how those structures grew. And by peering into CT Chabi's disk, we glimpse the birth of planets and moons. These findings change our perspective on existence, showing that the processes that formed our sun and earth are happening everywhere. The carbon in our bodies and the water we drink were forged in ancient stars. Webb's discoveries bring this cosmic connection to life. The telescope's journey is just beginning. Each observation brings new mysteries. There are even earlier galaxies and more exomoons waiting to be found. We're living in a revolutionary time for astronomy. The universe is vast, but through science we're starting to read its story. Webb inspires us to look up, ask big questions, and seek answers in the faint light of distant stars. The journey into the unknown continues, and the view from our new window to the universe is magnificent.